we take hymn number 26 all over the world the spirit is moving all over the world the spirit is moving all over the world as the prophet said it would be all over the world there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with, with your, your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. So he set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer at the court of the Candite or Queen of Ethiopia and was in fact her tr chief treasurer. He was now on his way home and as he set out in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord said to Philip, go up and meet that chariot. When Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was like this. Like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse, like a lamb that is dumb in front of its shearers, like these, he never opens his mouth. He has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk about his descendants, since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, Tell me, is the prophet referring to himself or someone else? Starting therefore with this text of scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road they came to some water and the eunuch said, Look, here is some water here. Is there anything to stop me from being baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop. Then Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water and Philip baptized him. But after they had come up out of the water again, 
Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip found that he had reached Azotus and continued his journey, proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responses cry out with joy to God all the earth. All together, cry out with joy to God all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Come and hear, all you who fear the Lord. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud with high praise ready on my tongue. Response, cry out with joy. To God all the earth. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord who hung for us upon the tree has risen from the tomb. All together, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory. be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, They will all be taught by God. And to hear the teaching of the Father, and learn from it, is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father, except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you most solemnly, everybody who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven so that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel, Jesus continues his bread of life discourse, which we have been listening for the past few days. And in this Gospel of today, Jesus says two important things to the crowds. The first thing he tells them his your fathers or your ancestors ate the manna from the desert and they are dead. What is Jesus trying to tell them? Jesus is trying to tell them is that physical food or maybe even any other earthly pleasure can never really satisfy us or quench our hunger. In fact, it will leave us dissatisfied and keep us hungry, wanting for more. And the end result of 
having physical food or giving in to any earthly pleasure is that we will ultimately perish we will die after saying this to them jesus tells them i am the bread of life i am the living bread that has come down from heaven through these words jesus is reminding them and each one of us that if we are looking for lasting love if we are looking for lasting happiness if we are looking for lasting strength and courage to face the challenges of our day to day life and in fact if we are looking for immortality for eternal life then we will only find it at his feet we will only find it at the feet of jesus this is the most important thing that jesus tells them that do not run after physical food or earthly pleasures because they are transitory they are temporary but rather come to me because i am the one who can give you lasting joy lasting happiness lasting love and even eternal life dear sisters and brothers in jesus christ every time we consume the body and blood of christ every time we avail of the sacraments we are seeking the lord and in this time of trial in this time of crisis every time we partake in the eucharist and partake in the spiritual communion we are truly seeking the lord and so as we take part in this eucharist let us continue to seek the lord and to seek his grace as you offer the gifts of bread and wine at this altar let's also offer our prayers our petitions our supplications and our various intentions to the lord Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink blessed be God forever Pray brother in that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the good of all his church O God who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme godhead grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord amen. amen the lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you 
He the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly paths with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co as to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily our bread, bread, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. As the priest in church receives Holy Communion, please use the prayer that is projected on the screen to make your own spiritual communion with God, with Jesus. After you do so, we will have the communion hymn. We thank the Lord for his communion with us and his presence with us at all times and we ask him to remain in our lives not only as we participate in the Eucharist but also as we live it out throughout the day and throughout our lives. Come O Lord our hunger to relieve, come O Christ our spirit to revive. Come, O Lord, a hunger to relieve. Come, O Christ, a spirit to revive. By your touch our fears subside. Through you we walk aright. By your touch you break our chains, through you we are made free. Come, O oh Lord, a hunger to relieve. Come, O oh Christ, a spirit to revive. Come and stay with us on earth. You are the God of peace. To your kingdom welcome all. You are the God of hope. Come, O oh Lord, a hunger to relieve. Come, O oh Christ, our spirit to revive. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those we have imbued with heavenly mysteries 
to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord amen we shall have the prayer corona virus almighty and merciful god who show your love to all creation everywhere hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the corona virus in various parts of the world we come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families we pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found we pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen amen go forth the mass is ended thanks, thanks be, be to, to god, god. we take him number 283 as we go out to the world to face the challenges of life realizing that christ has given us new life 283 new life new life you came to bring us new life new life new life we find such joy in your abundant life you are the source of our new life in your light we see light you show to us your goodness you bid us taste and see we come to you we bless you lord We glorify your name. We praise you, Lord. We worship you. We thank you for your gift of new life. New life, new life. You came to bring us new life. New life, new life. We find such joy in your abundant life. Wish you all a good evening and God bless.